By 2020, Russia's PD-14 engine powered the first flight of the MC-21 aircraft. The PD-14's blades are hollow and made using diffusion bonding technology, something most people have never heard of. But what makes this engine stand out in a world dominated by Western manufacturers? Let's delve into today's episode. By the late 1990s, Russia faced a significant challenge. The PS-90 engine was outdated and could not be developed further due to its design being rooted in the 1960s. The need for a modern engine became apparent as Western competitors, like Airbus and Boeing, advanced with more efficient engines. In response, Russian engineers from Aviadvigatel JSC began work on a new generation gas generator. By 1999, the foundation for the PD-14 was laid. The PD-14 was not just an isolated project. It was designed to power a family of engines ranging from the PS-7 with a thrust of 71.6 kN up to the PS-18, meant for larger aircraft. But the PD-14's primary goal was to power the MC-21. Russia's response to the growing demand for efficient, medium-haul airliners. Competing with the likes of the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737, the MC-21 needed an engine that could match the efficiency and reliability of Western models. The question now is, could the PD-14 deliver the performance needed to rival Western competitors? The MC-21-310 took its first flight with PD-14 engines in December 2020, marking a significant milestone for Russian aviation. The PD-14 incorporated several cutting-edge technologies. Russian engineers applied 3D aerodynamic design methods for all components, resulting in a highly efficient gas path. One of the most innovative features of the engine is its fan blades, which are hollow and made using diffusion bonding technology. This makes them strong but light, crucial for increasing engine performance and reducing weight. The compressor of the PD-14 consists of a combination of titanium alloy and nickel-based materials, allowing for better durability and higher efficiency. The engine's combustion chamber uses heat-resistant materials and ceramic thermal barrier coatings, reducing the risk of overheating and improving overall reliability. Another standout feature is the PD-14's modular design. This allows for easier maintenance as sections of the engine can be repaired without removing the engine from the aircraft, something that can significantly reduce downtime for airlines. The PD-14 doesn't exist in a vacuum. It faces stiff competition from the likes of Pratt & Whitney's PW-1000G and CFM International's LEAP-1 engines. Both of these Western engines are used widely in popular aircraft like the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. In terms of raw numbers, the PD-14 holds its own. Performance differences in thrust, fuel consumption, and mass are within a 2-5% to range. But this small gap can mean a lot in terms of long-term operational costs and fuel efficiency. The gas generator of the PD-14 is oversized compared to its competitors. With a 12 to 15% higher air intake, it's clear that the PD-14 was designed with future upgrades in mind. This opens the door for more powerful variants like the PD-14M and PD-18R, which are expected to push the engine's thrust to 18 tons. However, despite these future possibilities, the PD-14 has a lower bypass ratio, 8.5, compared to engines like the Leap 1A, which has a bypass ratio of 11. This means the PD-14 may be slightly less efficient at reducing drag compared to its rivals. But what's the real impact? Will the larger gas generator and modular design of the PD-14 give it a long-term advantage over its Western competitors? One of the key strengths of the PD-14 lies in its lower gas temperature at the turbine inlet. Running at 60 to 80 degrees Celsius cooler than the Leap 1 or PW-1000G, this reduced temperature lowers wear and tear on the engine, which could result in longer service intervals and lower maintenance costs. According to the United Engine Corporation UEC, the PD-14 offers operating costs 2.5 to 3% lower than its competitors. However, the engine's lower gas temperature comes at a cost. It sacrifices a bit of thrust. Additionally, the PD-14 lags behind in terms of advanced combustion chamber design. While it represents a significant improvement over previous Russian engines like the PS-90, 
It doesn't quite match the dual annular combustion chambers of its competitors, such as Pratt & Whitney's Talon X or CFM's TAPS II. Can the PD-14 strengths, such as lower operating costs and modular repair capabilities, outweigh its weaknesses in performance and advanced technology? Everything was progressing well for the PD-14 and the MC-21 until February 24, 2022, when the war in Ukraine began. Western sanctions hit Russia hard, cutting off access to foreign aircraft engines and components. This left the MC-21 with only one engine option, the PD-14, and only one market, domestic Russia. Before the sanctions, the MC-21 was set to use a mix of PD-14 and American PW-1400G engines. Now, the PD-14 must shoulder the entire burden of powering Russia's aviation future. The question is, can Russia's domestic market alone sustain the PD-14 and the MC-21's production? Or will the engine need international demand to truly thrive? Looking ahead, the PD-14 could be the foundation for future engines in Russia's aviation industry. Plans are already in place to develop more powerful variants, such as the PD-18R, which could bring even more thrust to future aircraft. Additionally, Russia is considering the development of smaller engines based on the PD-14, such as the PD-7 and PD-10, which could be used for smaller regional jets. This flexibility could allow Russia to adapt its engine technology to different aircraft categories, covering a wide range of aviation needs. Russia's aviation industry has also focused on increasing the use of composite materials in engine construction. Around 65% of the PD-14's nacelle structure is made from composites, and future versions of the engine could see this number rise. Composites provide strength while reducing weight, helping to improve overall fuel efficiency. But the big question remains, will Russian engines like the PD-14 continue to innovate and compete globally, or will geopolitical pressures limit their growth? The PD-14 is a major leap for Russian aircraft engine manufacturing. It brings Russia closer to matching Western technology, but it still lags behind in areas like production volumes and advanced features. The engine's future largely depends on how quickly Russia can ramp up production and gain the trust of airlines, both domestic and international. The PD-14 might not surpass Western engines in every area, but it's undoubtedly a major achievement for Russian engineering. With further development, we could see more powerful variants of the PD-14 emerge in the near future. What do you think? Does the PD-14 have what it takes to compete globally, or is it limited by current circumstances? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on the latest in aerospace technology.